Welcome into the Alabama Football Report. I am Tom Denning. Before we get to some recruiting updates, two new commits headed to the Crimson Tide. If you want more videos, we need your help. I know it's a quiet period in the college football calendar, but I want to keep doing Crimson Tide videos. But we need more views, quite simply. So like today's video helps the bosses that you do want more Crimson Tide videos. So it's simple. Like the video so we can do more in the future. Welcome into the Alabama Football Report. I am Tom Downey going through some uh, studio upgrades of looks or sounds a bit different. That's why we're back to normal very soon. Some commitments for the Crimson Tide to get into. We did mention Joseph Ayanada as a recent offer on our most recent video on Friday. And he did not take very long to commit as Ayanada committed to the Crimson Tide over the weekend, announcing that decision on Saturday. So offered on Thursday publicly committed at least on Saturday. He did not waste much time pledging to Alabama. He is now the eighth commit in the 2024 class. The profile here overall, I will make note, it's an early commitment for the Alabama pledge. I suspect he'll rise in those rankings. Number 978 overall. He is the lowest rated recruit in that Crimson Tide class. He is a three star. The number 70 interior offensive lineman and number 131 out of the state of Florida. I would bet a very large amount of money. Not reckless like out of call 1-800 numbers but I bet a good amount of money that Joseph Iannata is going to rise in these rankings. We set in maybe not a month from now. Maybe it's more like two, three, four months or closer to actual National Signing Day, I think he will be much, much higher up because you don't have very many Alabama commitments who aren't high up in the rankings because in general, it means that the recruiting services, in this case, the 24-7 sports composite, is just a bit behind. Here's what Joseph had to say about his commitment to the Crimson Tide. Alabama is a place where you get developed not only as a top-tier football player, but as a top-tier man. The ability to go compete against the best every single day really sets Alabama apart. The culture and commitment to getting better every day and striving for excellence is really what drove me to pick Alabama. This is a significant get, in part because he's a Florida State legacy. His dad played for the Seminoles, yet he wasted no time picking Alabama as his pick, not waiting around to see if Florida State wanted him if he was going to commit there or not. So that's a fairly noteworthy note, I suppose. And I suspect, again, there's no insider source to info here, but I've been saying it for a while. I think June is going to be a very strong month for commitments for Alabama. Sure would be nice if every Monday we come back on the video and say, hey, you got these three new commitments, or every Sunday or something along those lines. So, I want you guys to show Joseph Iannata some love. Everyone type in a Roll Tide in the comment section to welcome the newest commitments for the 2024 class for the Crimson Tide. If the ad uh, comes here on YouTube, just ignore it. Head down there to the pinned comment. Type in Roll Tide for me right now. So with the new commitment, let's check in on where the 2024 recruiting class ranks. Not any major changes in the top 10. Uh, Notre Dame has now jumped to three. Ohio State is back down to four. I was actually behind enemy lines this weekend for a uh, wedding in Columbus, which I've never liked the Buckeyes. Don't tell some members of my family. Penn State was six. Oregon, uh, Penn State jumps to six. They actually got three commits over the weekend. Alabama who was lingering outside the top 20 or just inside of it, is now number 11. They are just outside of that top 10. Again, this is based on the 24-7 sports composite rankings. Uh, so volume plays in there. Bama's got eight commits. There they are with only eight just out to the top 10. It's a strong class quality-wise, and the quantity I suspect will be coming. Five-star quarterback Julian Sane, playing pipe around him. Two other five-stars, athlete Jalen Mbakwe, five-star uh, receiver Perry Thompson. A couple four-star defenders, Jeremiah Beeman, Caden Jones, Sterling Dixon, wide receiver Nick, uh, Rico Scott, excuse me, and then the latest addition, the three-star interior offensive lineman, Joseph Iannata. Now, if you are a fan of Alabama football players in the pros, or you just love NFL in general, rookie jerseys are now available. I mean, maybe you're the collector who's got, you know, a Tua jersey, a Mac Jones jersey. Well, now you can get a Bryce Young one as well. Or Jameer Gibbs, Will Anderson, my guy Brian Branch. Plenty of available options when you go to chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. Now for a 2025 commitment here as Anthony Rogers 
publicly announced decision on Friday night. Uh, the report out of 24 or from 24 seven sports, I think on three reported it as well. Uh, he had actually been a silent commit a couple weeks ago, but then publicly made the decision on Friday night it is worth noting. Both his brother and his sister go to Alabama, which, Hey, Maybe it makes sense why he's committing so early since he is only a 2025 commit. As we will often see with the, not this year, but next year, rankings for various players, the 2025 setup is significant there. He's he's early. He's the number one in the 24-7 sports running back group, but not in the composite. So that's 24-7 sports individual and the composite there. He's number 87 overall, the number eight running back on the composite. Maybe there'll be some adjustments there in the not-too-distant future. He's number 19 from the state of Florida. Here's what Anthony had to say about his commitment to the Crimson Tide. I have always liked Alabama since my first visit. I just feel like it was the place for me to be, and I feel like it was time for me to make that decision. I love the environment. It's just a chill, cool environment. Which, by the way, not the vibe I get normally from Alabama. It's a good environment, but I think competitive is the word I would have used there. But that's beside the point. He also said, I like how the program is ran, how everybody has to work for what they get. I like that it's a hardworking program. Coach Saban has a, he's a great coach. He has a lot of experience. One of the greatest coaches in college football. Folks, if you have not already, please subscribe to the Alabama Football Report. We are 57 subs away from 8,000. That is it. Help us get there. Hit that sub button right now. Quick look then at the 2025 recruiting rankings. Georgia is number one. Alabama is number two. Penn State's three. Michigan, Oklahoma, four and five. It is a small class because it is 2025 after all. Uh, Ryan Williams is the early gem of this group. He's number four overall again in the composite rankings there. Anthony Rogers. Then Mason Short and Dontrell Glover. So all offense at this stage. When it comes to recruiting, rank Nick Saban for me among college football recruiters. Is he number one? Is he two? Is he lower than that? I'd be kind of surprised by what he's done at every stop. But most recently, of course, Alabama. So get those answers in for me in the comment section. Where would you rank Nick Saban among all the different college football recruiters? Before we go, more updates on one Tony Mitchell. As Mitchell has spoken publicly about his arrest and his suspension and now apparent reinstatement. Not officially announced on the team, but Mitchell and his dad both said it, so I think that's confirmed as much as it could be at this stage. Uh, again, police report that Mitchell had uh, a lot of cash, a lot of weed, and was going way too fast uh, when he got arrested. Uh, Mitchell, I do appreciate his upcoming comments here about eh, some, some contrish, uh, contrition excuse me, and just Alabama sticking by him. Uh, Mitchell, again, was suspended for the spring practice, and in theory, should be back in time for fall ball now for the Crimson Tide. He says, quote, I was doing things I know I shouldn't to try to, try to fit in, but not everybody is your friend, and I learned this when I looked around and saw that our morals didn't align. I also want to thank Alabama Football for seeing my potential and giving me a second chance. I'm grateful for everyone who supported me through this hard time. Every day, just thinking about the possibility of it being all over with devastated me so mitchell's back for alabama we'll see if he plays this year we'll keep you covered on everything going on around the crimson tide hit that sub button for us right now